Jonas has been out for a, about two weeks now, probably more. And how is he? And how does he stack up on the tier list? Now, I'm not going to be comparing Jonas to any of the other characters, even though I am throwing him on the tier list. But I'm just going to talk about how Jonas is. Him, himself, that's it. How is he? And he's okay. He's just okay. He's he's mid. He's a lower mid tier. Right now, I am. I'll immediately throw him into C tier because he he's he's not good, but he's not bad. You know what I'm saying? I mean, by himself, he's just pretty generic and basic. He's he's a low mid tier. There's not really much to say about Jonas when it comes to you know how how good is he because like there's there's not much that is good but there's not much that is bad either a lot of people when talking about jonas they just immediately compare him to parker and Xiaoxing and all these other characters that have roughly the same perk that he does and it's true that the only thing different is just a 20 percent faster vault that's that's pretty much it, it oh shit Anyways, people, all they do is just compare Jonas to other ple uh, other people, you know. And this is one of the few times where I'm like, I, I agree. I agree. If if you don't want to play Jonas, I mean, you don't have to. Like, as pain as it is for me to say it, uh, when it comes to Jonas, uh, you might as well... You might as well play Nathan. I'm so I know that I know that's a, a huge, crazy thing to say, but listen. When comparing Jonas to other characters, Jonas gets outclassed by a lot, too many, a lot of the roster, a lot of the roster. But that isn't enough. Well, I know he get, he, he gets outshined by a lot of the roster, but it it, it doesn't make them bad. It doesn't make him bad. It truly doesn't exactly make him bad. Nobody really plays Jonas due to him. Like, just. You can play Nathan, you can play Parker, you can play this, you can play that. He, there's not really much to say about Jonas. He's just mid. Now, is that a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. Not every character in Daybreak has to be freaking top 5, top 10 top one they don't have to be busted which i i welcome jonas to the roster you know he's fun to play he is fun to play but like if for competitiveness or like when it comes to tier lists yes you would you'd rather play someone else in any case and the first when he came out the first person i was talking to eka about jonas you know, how he gets outclassed by a lot of the other characters and shit like that. But, to me, it's not a bad thing that a character like this exists. Because, you know, you, you play him for fun. You play the game for fun. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're going competitive. You play the game for fun. You know, Jonas, you, you have fun with this character. But, unfortunately, when it comes to like comparing him with other characters, I say just play... Just play Nathan just play Nathan and I know a lot of people like oh don't you hate Nathan so much like why would you you know why would you agree why would you tell people to play a character that you hate what's up with that and it's just the truth honestly I still don't like Nathan but when it comes to stats and everything and the perk just you would rather go him because with sanity soda First of all, Nathan's uh, wit's end lasts twice as long, I think. Because right now, it only lasts 1.5 seconds, I believe. Or was it one second? It's one second or 1.5 seconds. I think it's one second. But with Nathan, it's like two second, 2.5 second window. So, like, you might as well just play Nathan, honestly. And it's cool to, like, you know, play Jonas and whatnot, because, you know, you could do crazy shit like that, especially with the Sanity Soda and whatnot. Jonas has a looper character. He's pretty fun. 
He's pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, I, I know I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to give commentary about the character and everything. Oh damn, that's a bad fucking. That gives me enough to escape. Anyways, I can now talk about it. But when it comes to stats and everything, Jonas is lacking a bit, just a bit. I rather, if I were to change something about Jonas, I would probably. Not touching the perk. Just talking about the stats itself. I rather give Jonas more gen speed, honestly. If he would just to get a buff for four gen speed, oh, that would probably maybe give him more, uh, you know, more reason to play. There will be more reason to play him because with the three, three gen speed, you're rather you're better off playing Yara, honestly. So. Why does she want me? Does she want me and only me? Ah, oh, she must have recognized me. She must have recognized me. Oh. Okay, maybe she was just hard telling me because I was going around the down survivor. Anyways. But, uh, yeah, when it comes to him comparing. Damn, the mobile is. The showstopper is having a hard time. I would just give him a bit more gen speed. If not the gen speed, then have the composure and everything up. I'd say bring his composure like 10 and 10. Composure and stealth, put him to 10. Cause, cause why not? Cause just cause why not? I mean, he already has eight composure, right? It's like eight composure. One of the stats has eight. And like, if you would just if you would give him the just the other the rest he'll be fine he'll be a looper that is completely silent with it, it would probably kind of make sense with because he's a ghost hunter and blah -de blah -de blah you know my take is if you're gonna buff Jonas stat wise and not perk wise give him higher composure and stealth make him completely silent unless you're saving for a ninja type character but just just give him fucking more composure and stealth, cause that way, first of all, it'll be way easier for killers to lose him. God damn, I suck. It'll be way easier for killers to lose him, and he will benefit with the perk, cause like, say for example, he has no composure, no stealth. He's running around. You lose sight. The killer loses sight of him for like a split second. He pops sanity soda. He's out of this bitch. That would probably be cool. That would be really cool. It would be fun to play Jonas that way. Just immediately trying to get away from the chase. It will be interesting. But, uh... When it comes to just Jonas... Being just the ca the way he is right now... He's, he's low mint here. There's not really much to say. He's stuck in C tier. And if he doesn't change and like the game progresses and Jonas just doesn't get any change he'll probably be moving to D tier because there are so many other characters that you can play rather than Jonas so unfortunately he is staying in C tier for now because he's not bad he's not bad enough for me to put him in fucking you know uh, D tier or F tier no they're gonna steal this fucking thing aren't they they, they thirsty yeah but uh no, like just Jonas by himself. It, it, it is what it is, you know. And the like, everything about it. It's just mid, mid the character. Character is just straight mid. He's nothing but mid. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't really have many more thing else to say about it. Uh, I will talk about the other, you know, the other patch notes in another video. Maybe, maybe, because I kind of want to just wait until the actual huge update that we're all waiting for. I want that update to come out, to drop, and then we could talk about everything and make a new tier list and everything, you know. Because when that update drops, probably I'll do a, cha a tier list every chapter, every new chapter. It would, you know, work fine that way, I guess. But uh, as of right now, if I'm just adding Jonas to the tier list... He's just mid. 
Okay, so if I am going to talk about XP wise, I'd say just use Sanity Soda whenever you can. Just so you can get the 25 XP, because 25 XP, it's kind of small. Especially for a looper. It's not really much, but uh, hey. Alright. Hey, I got MVP on top of that. Well, that's my take on Jonas. Give him a try. If you want me to... Tell me how you think about Jonas in the comment section below. I'll read all the comments, you know what I'm saying? Give me your take on Jonas. But as of right now, Jonas is just straight mid. Mid. Mid the character. But hey, he's fun to play. So, hopefully everyone enjoys this little Jonas rant plus some gameplay. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever the hell I do next. Have a good night.